after last week, I hesitate to record this. I really do. Um, I want to say though, as I singled out a, probably the lone really bad moment in pass pro for Oklahoma in this game, I wanted to single out a good moment in run in run blocking, which obviously we know there wasn't a lot of, but this is, this is nice. And I want to highlight a guy that was a big part of that interception. Jacob Sexton, you, I, I will say in the plays that, you know, almost a halftime now of what I've watched, this is as good as I've seen somebody move anybody else. Watch him just run this defensive end back here. I mean, and just physically overwhelms him. Now, you're going to say he had a little help from Austin Stogner. Maybe. Maybe. What he, what Javante Barnes didn't get from Austin Stogner is picking up the guy who eventually makes the play. And this is what I said I didn't know if I wanted to highlight. Let's come back to that for a second. We'll, we'll, we'll get back there. Watch Caden Green here. I'm going to move the nose. Look at him. Get his head on. Move that guy off the spot. It's not, again, you're getting a guy played tackle most of his life, played tackle most of his time at Oklahoma. He's still learning it. Um, and I will say, I heard Gabe Eichard say it, and he's right. Caden Green, look at him at left guard. That's a big boy, man. You can tell that's a, that's a dude that ain't missing meals, man. That, he, he, looks, he looks like a guard. He looks powerful out there, man. I, I love it. Um, anyway. But, okay, so we've watched Caden Green. Now let's watch Austin Stogner. So my guess is he starts right. Is he supposed to, okay, chip to the end, somebody comes across your face, you pick him up. It's going to be this guy. But he's got his head down, and he's shoving, and he just misses the block. Think of Austin Stogner's there to kick him out. You've got Farouk here. You've got Drake Soups here. It's Javante Barnes one-on-one -on -one with that safety. Now, you can think Javante Barnes does or doesn't beat that safety. I don't know. I, I'm not. I, but if Stogner just gets in his way, he's running right through this lane right here. There's a big old lane, and it's well done because Sexton's eating that guy alive. But as it is, that guy gets in there to slow him up, and then he's got no momentum, and the safety closes the hole. Again, I, I can't tell how I feel watching this line block right now because it's rarely the same guy. I mean, I guess I say line. I include Austin Stogner in this conversation. It's rarely the same guy, and it's usually only one guy, and it's butchering the whole thing. If they can get it to where they're all working at 90% of efficiency – I think it can be pretty good. I really do. But at some point, that's got to start happening. And, man, you're picking a hell of a, a couple of weeks here to get into that because you're going to face some some better competition now. Um, Dante Corleone and Juwan Briggs are as real as Oklahoma will face all all season inside, and I include Texas. The, the, Dante Corleone's a monster. Uh they that's uh Vander Rain wants to be a big high pick. That's a that's some money making time right there. Um he's gonna have his chance. Um I again you see flashes of like, oh, there it is, there it is, but you just can't ever get all five or six, if you want to include Stogner, on the same page. 